Hey, what's up? It's Dr. Buck again, and in this video, I'm just going to tell a funny medical story, all right? Um, hey, thanks for subscribing and watching and all that stuff. All the comments are awesome. I really appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed, do that now, somewhere on this page or on the video or something like that, and uh, share this stuff with your friends if you think it's cool. Okay, let's get to it. All right, so this story is like 2005. Uh, I'm a second-year resident. I am on the trauma service, and uh, your job as a, the second year resident on trauma service, we call it the, the trauma bitch, okay? So as the trauma bitch, you did all the paperwork, basically, but you went, and got, went to go see the new patient. So the ER is really busy, and the, the ER guys would call you and say, hey, I have a, I have a patient that, that is either a general surgery or a trauma surgery patient, right? That's how it kind of worked. So the second year would go down and see the patient, and kind of work them up and um, then present it, come and present it to this, the fifth year resident or the fourth year resident, basically the senior resident who's on call that night. Um, so this particular night, I think it was like in October, we're downtown in a uh, major city. Well, we're downtown in Detroit. Many of you guys know where I did my residency. And um, it's uh, like around October 15th-ish, 20th, I don't know. I just know it was close to Halloween, okay? And it'll be pertinent to the story a little later. So we, I get this guy, and he is an older guy. He's, he's like 80-some years old, and um, his belly's real distended. He's, very, he's uh, very thin, so his belly's very, very distended. And what he ended up having was a twist of his colon, okay? So uh, the colon is uh, kind of a question mark-shaped uh, part of the bowel. It's the, it's the last part of the bowel, okay? So it goes, that's like the poop chute. Before the poop chute is the colon. Um, so it goes like esophagus, stomach, small bowel, colon, and then the poop chute or the rectum and then the anus, okay? So this guy had twisted some of his colon in the left side almost towards like um, about towards the, the rectum. And um, my senior resident who is the person who takes care of everything was uh, this guy, last name is called, his name is Banzel. And Banzel was a, uh, an Indian guy who with a very thick accent, who was a, like one of the best guys ever. But he had um, his own version of American profanity, which was hilarious. And it was all in a very thick Indian accent. So, so anyway, I get called by the uh, ER doctors and they say, we got this guy down here in the ER that uh, you need to see for you know, his belly distended, blah, blah, blah. So I go see him. And it turns out that uh, he basically has a sigmoid volvulus, okay? He has a, a twisting of his colon and his belly is really distended and he's like 85 years old and he is super skinny so you can see kind of like everything his um, just belly is just like all air okay so uh, with the, the twist of the sigmoid volvulus like you have a twisting of the colon and you kind of you need to untwist it but a lot of times uh, most of the time it does not stay that way so you have to do surgery to take it out but if uh, at the time <laughs> at, at the time uh, you needed to prep all the patients, which means you needed to, to clean their colon out, so that way you could take that piece of colon out, put it back together um, without the colostomy bag, if you guys are familiar with that. Um, and honestly, uh, we kind of don't do that anymore, but this, at the time, that's what we were doing. So, Banzel, so I went to go tell Banzel, I said, you know, this is the deal, I have this uh, 84 year old guy, um, he's distended, blah, blah, blah. He said, stop. First, tell me, Hot or not hot. So, so Banzel, I forgot, would make me tell, tell him every patient either they were hot or they were not hot. So I'd have to say 85-year-old African-American male, not hot, and with the sigmoid volvulus. So that was Banzel. He was awesome. Um, but it kind of slowed me down a little bit because I always have to think, you know, like this guy hot. So we go down there and uh, see the guy and Banzo's like, bring me a sheet, two sheets and scissors and red rubber catheter. I'm like, all right, I, I have no goddamn idea what he's talking about or what he's going to do. So I said, fine. And I, like, I don't do anything anyway except go get stuff that they want me to do and take orders and stuff like that at that point. So I just go, like, fine, okay. So we wheel the guy, he says, meet me in this other area of the ER and it's kind of like isolated and stuff and we'll, I'll meet you there. I said, okay. So uh, we go, you know, we go in there and it's late at night, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning, okay. And we're in the 
it's in October, close to Halloween, and we're in downtown Detroit, okay? So just think about that. I'm a white guy. I don't know if you guys noticed that. So Banzel says, give me the scissors and give me the sheets. So he starts cutting the sheets. And I was like, what? Dude, don't cut the sheets. You don't need to cut the sheets. What are you doing? And he's like, oh, you will see. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> so, so I'm like, all right, I don't know what the hell he's going to do, right? So he's cutting the sheets. He takes the sheet and he flips it over his head and he cut holes in it for his eyes. And I'm like, you have got to be effing shitting me. So he says, here, make one for yourself. And I'm like, what in the hell is going on here? So I say, I look at the guy, his belly's all distended. I look at Banzel, he's got the sheet on. I'm like, oh my God, this is probably a bad decision. So I make, I cut the, th the sheet, I make one for myself, and here we are, two ghosts in downtown Detroit in Halloween, ready to attack this poor old guy. <laughs> this guy probably thought, this guy probably thought we were going to kill him. So he tells me, here, take the red rubber catheter. Put it in his ass. So I said, oh my God. So this guy's awake, right? And of course, so I roll him over. I put the catheter in his ass. And Banzel's like this, and I'm like this, waiting for everything to explode all over each other. And I put the catheter in his ass. And he's like, Psh! All of his hair comes out, nothing. There, are, there we are in our ghost sheets, like two idiots in the, <laughs> in the ER. And this guy looks back and says, and I'm like, does that feel better? And he looks back and says, well, hell yeah, it feels better. So I start to take the catheter and does, hey, it's not done yet. So I'm not done yet. And I'm like, what? Tape it to his ass. So <laughs> I have to take, tape the catheter into his butt so that way so that way he can get his prep tonight and get his surgery tomorrow. And that is the Banzel story. And that is the Banzel story. And that is the Banzel story.